morning guys, another Sunday, another gun day. Um, still really hot and sunny, but luckily it's the morning now, so it's not quite so hot. Um, I've had like no sleep, but I did get a little bit beard up last night, so don't feel the best, but never mind. Um, we're gonna have a look round. Um, hopefully, um, you might think it's counterintuitive, but I think there may be a few rabbits about because obviously it's a lot cooler in the morning, so hopefully we'll see something. Um, and we're gonna have a look round the barns, um, keep on top of these feral pigeons. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, watch this space. So yeah, that was the one I just shot. Um, hopefully that came out on the camera okay. You can see he's sort of stone dead. Um, this is a bit of a huge amount around. Uh, ooh, well, we'll keep looking. Yeah, so it doesn't seem to be much around. No. Apart from that one I got. But, uh, I don't know, I guess they're all out feeding or something like that. Sleeping. Possibly. Possibly we should having be. a barbecue. Yeah. That's what we should be doing today. Yeah, probably. Um, okay, never mind. Um, we're going to go and have a look for some rabbits. I think we should maybe try the top field. Mm. Um, because I did see some rabbits running around there, down that alley. Oh, yeah. Um, there are a few around. So it might be worth a, a look. All oh, the horses are coming to play now. Uh, which, which is, yeah, yesterday. I, I saw one in the top field where the horses were, and the horses were harassing me then as well. Um, which is a nightmare to be honest, if you're trying to stalk rabbits and you've got like 10 horses sort of behind you with their sort of face right next to the back of your head. It's not very stealthy. No. Oh well. Um, well, we're going to have a look. I think he got him. Maybe not. You miss. I've got within 35 yards and I just tried to push it and get that little bit closer. And of course, then he saw me, and then he bolted. Got so it. if I just waited, if I just taken the shot, he was just sat there. But do you know what I mean? I just wanted to get that little bit close just to make sure I got a nice shot on him. And then he saw me, so I'm quickly like boom. But oh well, my reactions were quick enough. He was into the head. But what I would suggest is he's going to go on across. So he's going to be down this hedgerow now. So if we look down here, yeah, we might, we might be able to get him. Yeah, well, there might be one in that um, next to the barn as well yeah. down there. But it's really, I'm annoyed with myself actually. 
I reckon if I'd just taken the shot a little bit sooner, I would have got him then. It would have been a bit of a long shot, but got number five, and yeah, you, it would have probably been all right. But, but it's better, better to get closer and take a clean kill rather than, it, yeah. than wound it. Yeah, I would have probably injured him if I'd just taken the shot when he was still, and I'd have had to snap his neck and that stuff. So, yeah, yeah. at the end of the day, it's, it's better to either get a clean kill or not get a kill at all, isn't it, really? So. Uh, yes. Oh, well, never mind. Let's go and have a look. OK. Right, let's see if you can pick up that rabbit that I just missed. Yeah, I can see him running about something moving now, look. He's dead. Oh well, now you've got to try and get him out of that hedge, Tom. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how well you can see. But Tom's now crawling through all the undergrowth to get the rabbit to shot. It's um yeah, it looks like a youngster. I don't think it's, it's... Well, it can't be the same one that I shot at because that was definitely an adult. Is he a bit of a mess? Uh, just a bit. Fucking hell. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, don't think we'll be eating him somehow. No. No, I don't think we will. Um, and to be honest, I don't think even I don't think Daddy would even want him for the ferrets. To be honest, probably not. It's going to rot and be all horrible. But uh, sometimes, you know, we're just here to get rid of, yeah, you know, eradicate these bloody things. To be yeah. honest, so we'll have to chuck them in the hedge. I think something like a fox or a crow or something like that will come and make a meal of him, so he won't go to waste. But uh, yeah, that's what you get for using number fives at close range. That's number six. Oh, it was number six. Was number oh, okay. Six, yeah. Well, there you go. Anyway. Um, a lot of people wonder why I use number fives for rabbits, and it's because a lot of the time, like as you saw me when I was just tracking down this hedge, um, you're often shooting them at range, so if you've got a sort of uh, heavier load, you might only hit them with a few pellets at range, but because they're bigger pellets, then you know, you're more likely to get a kill. But then, of course, the trade-off with that is, when you shoot them close up, it makes a bit of a mess of them. Oh well, onward and upward. I uh, guess. Yeah, so it doesn't seem to be much about now. No. Apart, apart from those couple we saw. It's uh, starting to warm up quite a lot, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, it's a bit warm. But uh, yeah, I did just have a look over here because you do often get them just squatting down there. But uh, actually, I had a shot at one last night down there, but can't see any now. So yeah, we're going to have a look at the top fields and uh, see what we can see. Uh, yes. Yeah, so look, so nothing really around in the top fields. You can see why nobody's decoying at the moment. There's just not a pigeon in the sky, really. Yeah. They're all busy uh, breeding, I suppose. So that's why we're getting them around the barns and stuff, because they're, they're roosting and nesting. But um, I don't know if you can see, but these crops aren't, really aren't doing very well. I'm quite surprised, to be honest. But uh, they've not even started flowering yet. Yes. A lot of other people's crops have kind of already flowered and then gone green again, if you still to be. Yeah. But these haven't even come up yet. They're still really low. I don't know if it's just the type of rape it is, if maybe it's like late flowering or something, but... Doesn't it, look too it, good. His fields, the other side of the motorway, are up there, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, they've gone green again. Like I said, it flowered, yeah. went yellow, and then it's, they've dropped the flowers, and they've gone kind of green again. And this hasn't even got to the flowering stage yet at all. It's like the very occasional one, if you look around. So, yeah, it's no good for pigeon shooting at the moment. Yeah. But uh, never mind. I guess we'll head back now and have another look around the barn, see if anything's come back. OK. So then, yeah, it's, uh, it's a reasonable day. Yeah, it's all right, yeah. yeah. You got that youngster, that rabbit, um, a bit close up. So, uh, as I said, we're not bringing him back because the trouble is, you see, I would have brought him back for the ferrets, but because it's so hot, especially with their guts spilled open like that, you get flies on them and all sorts, and uh, it really annoys my dad, to be honest. Um, so, uh, we'll just chuck that in their head, but you know, I don't think it's gone to waste because something will eat that. Um, and frankly, we're, we're here to get rid of them, really, if we can eat them as a bonus. And then, yeah, I got that feral pigeon that again was stuck on the stuck on the roof. It seems to be happening a lot lately. So unfortunately, I haven't got any bodies to show you, hence why we're on the motorway now. But uh, never mind. It's the um, CLA Game Fair next weekend, so uh, Tom and I should definitely be going to that. It's um, only up the road as well, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? It's yeah. Warwick or something. Right, 
Brackley Hall, yeah, there's Warwickshire, yeah. Yeah, about 20 minutes away. Yeah, so um, so yeah, it should be should be really uh, it should be really good. So yeah, I hope you like the footage, what there was of it. Like and subscribe.